So today I'm going to tell you the story of the worst I've ever been scammed in the car business. Now if you're a car dealer or a mechanic or involved in cars in any way, shape, or form, you've lost money in the past. Whether you know if somebody didn't pay for a car or you bought the wrong car and you couldn't get it fixed and you had to let it go for a loss. That's all I'm talking about here. I'm talking about being maliciously screwed over by a person who knew damn well what they were doing. So the story starts with a 2003 Saturn L-Series wagon. It was a really clean car, had low miles on it, had the 3 liter V6 in it, which is kind of a rare motor. It was only in a couple of Saturn vehicles. Diamond belt snapped on it, all the valves got bent on it, the motor was trashed. Now again, if you're in the car business, you have a list of junkyards. You've got junkyards that you trust and junkyards that you don't trust. And uh, this typically comes from experience, you know, okay, they sold me a bad engine, they refunded it, but I still had to do all the work on it. Or, hey man, I've never had a problem with these people whatsoever. So I got to looking around and I found an engine at a junkyard that I knew and trusted. I trusted these people very much. I had talked with the owner, I don't know how many times we got along. I spent a large amount of money at this yard in the past. I've probably bought, you know, 10 engines out of there. Never had an issue with them. He had an engine. So I call him up and say, hey, you know, you got a Saturn uh, L-Series engine. Yeah, yeah, I got one, man. Thousand bucks, come up here. We'll get it loaded for you. Cool. Go up there. And $1,000 off to him, he loads the engine up, I walk out, I look at the engine, and there's something wrong with this engine. It don't have a timing belt, it don't have a timing cover, it don't have valve covers, it don't have an intake, it's a long block. Walk back in and say, hey man, this is not an uh, engine you sold me, this is a long block you sold me. You have anything different, you have anything better? Yeah, man, yeah, I actually have an engine, it's in a car, it's at my other lot. I'll get my mechanic, we'll pull the engine out, it'll be ready for you tomorrow. Cool. Come back the next day. My engine there? Yeah, you guessed it. Nah, my engine ain't there. What happened? Uh, well, my mechanic, he had a uh, family emergency. He couldn't uh, get the engine pulled for you today. Come back tomorrow, I'll have it pulled out for you. This is a red flag. I didn't know it at this time. Now I understand red flags from scammers. Uh, they're always kicking the can down the road. Oh, you'll get it tomorrow, you'll get it tomorrow. You never see it, the money, whatever, back. I know how to mess with it. Back then, this was 10, 15 years ago, I'd never really been screwed over from a junkyard. Not like this. So I believed him. Next day I come back up there, no engine. Where's my engine, man? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I had to get another mechanic on it. It was late day. He's almost got the engine out. It'll be ready tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Like, dude, you brought me up here twice. That engine better be here. Oh, I mean, it'll be here. It'll be here. I'm sorry. Okay. Next day, I call. Got smart. My engine ready? No, no, man. It'll be ready tomorrow. It'll be ready on Friday. Okay. Dude, I'm getting pissed off here. I'm really starting to get pissed off. I understand it's a frustrating situation. Now, my mechanics are just giving me problems. You'll have your engine. I'll make sure to do it personally. Next day I get up and I'm looking for my business partners and uh, their family and women and they're not around. They went up there because they knew I was getting mad and they knew that I have a mouth on me and I have a, you know, I, they didn't want any uh, unpleasantness going down. They didn't want me getting hurt. So uh, I call them and they're like, man, this guy went ballistic on us. The motor wasn't there. We asked for the money back and he went completely insane started yelling and screaming about how he got me a motor and that I didn't like the motor and this is a warranty job and this that and the other and just get the f out of my shop so they got so upset they called the cops out cops come out there and typically cops aren't going to do crap in a civil suit or civil situation anyway but they were beyond worthless they looked at my people straight in the eye and said well what do you expect buying from a place like this? This is a licensed and insured business with the state of Texas. I'm not buying from a chop shop here. This is a legitimate place. What do you mean what am I expect? Well, you know how these kinds of places are. We're going to have to ask you to leave the property and not come back. Well, what about my engine? What about my $1,000? Well, you're going to have to go after him in civil suit, if he, in civil court, uh, small claims court, if you want to get it done. It's like, well, that's just great. At this point, my head's about to explode, but they're like, you know what, just calm yourself down. Don't worry about it. 
we got screwed. It happens. We'll take him to court. Well, I started Googling around, and uh, I think this guy had about uh, 47 lawsuits against him for this very thing. <laughs> Nothing but uh, zero star reviews. Angry, angry people were on him. He has learned this scam, and he was doing this scam a lot to a lot of different people. And the thing about small claims court in America is there's kind of no enforcement about it. And yes, you can get a uh, court order and a writ and all this stuff and go in there and get goods, but it has to be a very specific type of goods. It's a real nightmare, and usually you're not going to get your money back any way you slice it. So yeah, this guy had been doing this scam, and uh, he'd actually been doing worse scams than that. Uh, he was taking people's cars to be fixed in his mechanic shop and he was just keeping them he just wouldn't give them back you know oh well you owe me this amount of money i'm not going to give it back to you and the cops actually did get involved on that one and that i think sheriff's office had to go up there a few times and remove the cars physically and give them back to their owners because he wouldn't do it but uh yeah uh, he uh basically stayed in business for a few more years. I spread the word to everybody I know and they spread to everybody they know and I'm sure he got a really bad reputation and fortunately the guy is no longer in business. I can't find anything about him. I don't think he's got another shop anywhere else. Don't know what happened to him. Don't really care what happened to him. But uh, yeah, and uh, I have lost more money on cars and I have been screwed over in other ways outside you know medical stuff and all that I've been screwed over for worse money but uh, in the car business that is by far the worst time I've ever been scammed so yeah that's been my uh, story as always thanks for watching please remember to like subscribe and hit the bell icon if you enjoy these videos and you want to see more if you have a story especially about being scammed drop a comment down below because I'd love to hear it